I'm Chris and today we're going to make a garbage can turkey. Let's do this real quick. One of the first things we're going to do is pound our steak into the ground. And we'll go ahead and place our tin foil right around the steak. We're going to go ahead and place our bricks that we wrapped in tin foil on either side of the steak. This is just going to keep the cold ground away from our turkey. The tin foil is going to help just keep everything clean and keep all the dirt and away from our, our bird. A quick tip. Go ahead and push in these little tabs here on your tin foil on either side. And your tin foil roll won't pull out when you're pulling the tin foil out. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a charcoal chimney to get my charcoal started. And if you've never used one of these before, I recommend getting one. They're very easy to use. You simply pour the charcoal into the top and put some newspaper or even a bag the charcoal came in itself underneath and simply light that on fire. Now while that charcoal starts, we're going to go ahead and prep our bird. Go ahead and place the bird right on top. Go ahead and place the garbage can right around the bird. This looks like it might be a little bit ready to pour on top. A few things to remember when you're making your garbage can turkey. I don't recommend using a galvanized garbage can, but if you do, you want to have a fire inside the garbage can first to burn off the galvanization. That stuff is toxic and you don't want that going into your bird and you don't want to be breathing the fumes in either. You want to try to find a stainless steel or aluminum garbage can. Make sure you put aluminum foil down first to try to eliminate any dirt getting into your bird. You want to put a pole into the ground just to help support your bird. If it's a cold day, you might want to wrap some bricks in tin foil and put them on either side of the pole just to keep a little bit more heat inside and keep the bird off of the cold ground. The cooking times are going to vary for the size of your bird. If this is your first time doing this and you're a little unsure, just let it cook a little bit longer. If you're doing this for the holidays for the first time, you may want to have this as your secondary bird, just in case anything happens. Once you get your charcoal going, you want to have a nice layer on top and then a layer around the bottom. You really only need about one bag of charcoal, about 20 pound bag or so. When you put the garbage can on top of the bird, you don't want to have it touching any of the sides of the can. And then once you lay the charcoal all around and on top, it's pretty much sit back and enjoy your favorite beverage and converse with your family and friends. You want to make sure the turkey is thawed. You do not want to use a frozen turkey here. Don't forget to remove uh, whatever might be inside the bird, whether it be the gizzards, a packet of stuffing, a packet of gravy. You want to remove that stuff first. Just common sense kind of stuff. On a nice cold day, this is a great way to cook your turkey. It's extremely easy and extremely fast. And don't limit yourself to the holidays just during the winter. You can use this thing for the 4th of July or any, any occasion at all. Use it tailgating. Use it hunting after you just got that fresh bird, pheasant, duck, or anything like that. This is a nice, easy, simple way to cook the turkey, and it turns out fantastic. I can smell this thing already, and I am just dying to get into that bird and start eating. When the cooking time is done, you want to scrape away the hot coals with a shovel, and definitely wear some gloves when you remove the can. You don't want to get burned. This can is going to be extremely hot. You want to make sure your area is prepped first. You want to rake up any leaves, any debris, anything that may catch on fire. You don't want to have this too close to a structure of your house. You don't want to have any unnecessary fire happen. All right, well, it's time to reveal the turkey and see what we have. Now, I cooked it a little bit longer just because I wanted the skin a little bit crispier. Now, you want to go ahead and remove the coals with a shovel. And pull back the coals at the base as well. around the garbage can, it's time to lift it off. Make sure you wear gloves. I'm wearing a pair of welding gloves just to be safe because this can is definitely going to be hot. You're ready to eat. Now when you take the bird off of here, you can use a fork or a couple forks or something like that. I'm just going to use my gloves. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. 
Definitely share this video with your friends and hopefully the rest of your family. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. And do me a favor, click that button so you're notified when my new videos come out.